What's going on guys, your boy Terry by Reacts here and I am back with another Vikings video season 2. Yeah, season 2. <laughs> Episode 3 is here today. Um just want to let you guys know that everything should be back on schedule this week if you're watching this and you are about TV shows, Rome and Vikings and Peaky Blinders or the Walking Dead, everything will return this week for sure. I'm going to make sure that those videos are out this week by the hook or by the crook. Okay, so I'm interested to see very much so what's going to happen in this episode of Vikings. Um, they're now into a new place. Um, it's been a while, so I'm um, don't crucify me for forgetting the, the, the names of the place, the place that they're at right now. But I'm pretty sure as soon as I start watching the show, I'm going to remember them. Um, there's a new sheriff in town. As I mean, they're, they're actually <laughs> visiting their town. But they tried to take him out, ambushed. Um, um, they ambushed them. And the king lost one of his sons. Okay. Um, Ragnar didn't take Rolo with him. Which I think is a, is a fear punishment. Um, but at the same time he could have used his help. Because you know every man. You know what I'm saying. Like every man deserves forgiveness. And at the same time you know he could use the extra help. You know um, more men the better. Right. And we all know that Rolo is he's just as good in battle as Ragnar. You know what I'm saying? They fought side by side forever. Never expected a betrayal, but that's what it is. But we got we got an update on Bjorn. You know what I'm saying? Um, on what he's, you know, the prophecy about him. That was pretty cool to hear. Um I want him to do big things, you know, you know, every, every father should want their son to be better than them. You know what I'm saying? Achieve even more than they did, um, even more than they did. So I, I, I totally, I'm down for that. Um, we didn't really get an update on Lagertha though. So that, um, so I don't know what's going on with her, with her. Um, but you guys say that this, new king that's been introduced in the last episode that he's going to be something to be reckoned with that's what you guys are hyping me up for this dude because he's he, they say he's just like ragnar um so i want to see how formidable he is you know knowing now that his men just got defeated um by a group of savages <laughs> you know what i'm saying so we're gonna jump into this episode, man. I'm so happy to be doing to to hop back into this series again. So many things um, has happened over the past weeks, you know, me moving and all. So I'm right back into the thick of things right now with my reactions. Um, there's some new shows gonna be premiered on the channel. I'm hoping that I can wrap up Rome by the end of this month and we can move on to something new okay so thank you guys for watching as always if you're new this is the first time you're watching my vikings reactions man i upload to outside sources i don't upload these videos to youtube because most of the time i do full reactions um so i do not want to have copyright and most people enjoy my full reactions so i just upload full reactions for my tv shows um for rome i don't have an issue with that so if you're new, there's a link down in the description. Go watch a reaction and come back here. You just take a short break and watch my review. Okay? Thank you guys for watching as always. And I will see you guys for the review. All right. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the review of... Season 2, Episode 3 of Vikings, and it's great, man. This episode was, um, we got to see my girl, LaGertha, already, um, huge crush. 
huge crush on my girl Lagertha, man. She is the bay of this show, no doubt about it. First time she appeared on the screen in this episode. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Anyways, man. Um, so this episode basically kind of brought them back into the story. Um, you know, now she's she is remarried to another Earl, it seems. Um, and of course, it's not the ideal situation that she want to be in. Of course, of course, Bjorn missing Ragnar, all of that, all of that stuff. All, you know, what I'm saying like. I didn't like when he hit her. I, I really didn't. I didn't like that he hit her. Like, you know, you have some men that are really, that are like that. It's like, that's the only way they feel like they can feel powerful. And I think it's so stupid. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think it's so dumb. But off of them, you know, there's nothing major going on over there. It's just this guy's a dick. And he's going to be a dick for now. Until... You know, probably Bjorn kills him or furthermore, I would rather Lagertha put a knife in his gut. You know what I'm saying? Like, so main story that's going on is, of course, the, sit the situation between Floki and the priest. I I don't understand where this this hatred kind of came. It, it, not necessarily out of nowhere, but it was kind of like there was no build up for it. You know what I'm saying? Like all of a sudden. You know, Floki is just watching him now. Like, is it is it jealousy? Is it because he's he's kind of got Ragnar's ear in a certain way? You know what I'm saying? So maybe you know they're watching him because they think he hasn't really renounced his Christianity. But dude is literally leading you against his people. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you walked into a room right after he killed um right after he killed another priest that was there. So how can you question his loyalty at this point? You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no reason for me to doubt who the priest is. He's literally bringing you guys over to kill his, his people. Like, you know what I mean? Like, there's nothing for you to say. Like, of course, he's going to have sympathy towards his people still, as in, you see how he came and rescued his priest from, you know what I'm saying? Like, this, the, the, um, the other priest that was there, like, because they were torturing him with or, with arrows and stuff like that. Like, I think th that stuff, I think King Horik, like, at this point in the story, like, I was kind of warming up to him, but he's terrible, man. He's a horrible king. Like, let's just be honest about it. If we're going to be objective in evaluating these characters, he's a terrible person. Because maybe this is revenge for his son, maybe. I don't know. Maybe he's acting out because they killed his son. I don't know. Or maybe he's maybe he feels some sort of way because it kind of seems like Ragnar is in charge. Um, but Ragnar is a natural born leader. He cannot help if people gravitate towards him and think he is the leader. You know what I'm saying? You can't speak their tongue. So guess what? Ragnar kind of have to speak for everybody. You know what I'm saying? But you know that he's going to be loyal. So you just need to trust him. Like him executing that dude was unnecessary. Like, I don't think Ragnar liked that because it was like, listen, I do my antics. I already have this priest scared shitless. Like there's, there was no need for him to do that. It was absolutely unnecessary. And I definitely did not like it. And obviously, look at Ragnar did not like it either. Um, but at this point, I think he's just the, the the things that goes on in his mind is what makes him such an interesting character. But he he could care less about the treasure itself. You know what I'm saying? The golden stuff. He could care less about that. Ragnar just wants to learn. You get what I'm saying? And that's the trait of a great leader. You just want to learn. You just want to know more about other things. How can I improve this? Yes, we have done this, but how can I get more? How can I get something even better out of this situation? Which is an awesome idea is to conquer the lands. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, does he really want peace? You know what I'm saying? Does he really want that? I don't know. I don't know. What is, you know, in in that sense, I don't know what he's thinking at this moment, as in, 
he's probably thinking they would never accept us. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, but he does have a good point of, you know, where we're from, you know, we can barely grow crops and stuff like that. You know, the earth is you know, like the real treasure, the, the real treasure here, because we can grow stuff. We can grow, we can even grow stuff here and transport it back home if we, if we need to, you know what I'm saying? So great ideas, man. You know what I'm saying? So I really love Ragnar. Ragnar's character is he's really stepped up his his intellect is so obvious in the show, way above everybody else because he's 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 a savage, but he's a savage, but he's an he's an intellectual savage. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's what I'm gonna title this video to. The intellectual savage, Ragnar Lothbrook. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it was pretty cool, man, to see him. Um to see him do those things and say those things to the king because it's so obvious that he's not this is it's not new of his character you know he's all he was always asking questions even when they went uh, the first time and he saw the priest he always was like what is this about why do you do this who is your gods blah 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 he wants to know these things you know what i'm saying he, he the priest taught him how to speak their native tongue you know what i'm saying so i'm loving the series man because it shows growth character development and stuff like that floki still floki um and at the end there we got to see um yalborg attacking revenge i think it's a kind of a wimp move i kind of i think it's kind of like a you know it's a weak move man it's a it's a soft move to do that as a viking you know what i'm saying you guys are always you know supposed to be known as you know what I'm saying? The shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just so underhanded and so it's weak for him to attack the village at that point when, you know, Ragnar them is not there. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, um, Rolo making that choice at the end, totally understandable. They were outnumbered, didn't have, you know, most of the, the, the best fighting men are gone. So it, they were fighting a losing battle, essentially. So the guy telling him he wanted to stay and fight. And it's, it's obvious that he wanted to stay and fight. But it was good advice. The guy told him, hey, you, you got to go. You got to save Ragnar's son and his wife. They're priority. So you got to go do that. You do that, of course, you know what I'm saying, in, in reciprocation. You know Ragnar is going to be pissed when he gets back home because he's going to be like, what the hell is going on? Why are you here sitting on my throne, sir? You know what I'm saying? It's going to be something when they get back because um, you're going to have... But, and that's what I'm saying. Jarlborg is so stupid. So I'm like, what do you think is going to happen when King Horik and freaking and, 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 and Ragnar comes back? You're going to get washed, dude. You're going to get washed. So how long do you think this is going, this is going to last? This... This um small victory that you just had. How long is that going to last? It's stupid. Um The other king, very interesting dude. Um I love how he's doing things. He's kinda watching them, you know, getting to know their behaviors and stuff like that so that he can know how to to, you know, attack, you know, and 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 you know, beat Ragnar Ragnar them. So I, I respect his move. I respect the move as in, you know what I'm saying? He's not rushing in and be like, oh, let's send, let's build an army and send everybody to go and die. It's obviously that you're fighting against an organized enemy. So you can't just run into battle. You know, we're not all Dothraki out here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, and get washed by the, by the, um, by the, um, by the White Walkers. So, um, no, <laughs> by the Whites. They got washed in like two, 10 seconds. It's crazy. Stupid move, but okay. Anyways, I'm talking about another show. Shouldn't be doing that. Anyways, this was a cool, 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 really good episode, man. The season is warming up and I'm loving it. Big shout out to LaGertha again. That's Bay. All right. See you guys later. Thank you guys for watching as always, man. Um, as I said, man, things should be back on track this week. So we should be able to get um vikings out on the weekends on a regular basis again um thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys later peace